All right, guys, iOS 17 just came out and I want to show you the top five things, top five biggest things that I think came out, starting with messages. All right, so one of the big new things with messages is that is this one button that's now on the side and it's a plus button and it has all your like location, your like stickers, all that. It's all in one place now. So it makes it easy to find all of it. And when you scroll through it, it has everything there. Um, it's very clean, it's very simple, it's easy to find all your, your things. And it has the main things as like the first things and then if you scroll down, um, you can find other apps, other third party apps that are in there. Um, also, swipe to reply. So before you had to double tap the message to reply to it, now you can just swipe to reply and it's much faster, it's much quicker. We also got this thing called check-in. So now, um, as a parent, you can send in a check-in. So if you want to check in at 11, um, it has a location. If they don't be, if they don't come into like this area within the check-in time, say it's like 11 p.m., it notifies the parent, and um, they can either send them a message, and the kid can either ask them to like add more time or something. So it just helps parents to know where their kids are, and if they come home at a certain time. Um, they also now have the smarter auto correction. Um, it kind of like takes your typing and then knows kind of how you type to kind of guess the next couple words. So like Microsoft, like Word already does it where it will guess their next couple words and you just hit the space bar and it'll fill it in. So it makes typing a lot easier and faster. Also, there's one thing I want to show you guys to end. So make sure to watch all the way to the end. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. The next thing we're gonna talk about is standby mode. And this is kind of already been on the Apple Watch but now they're bringing it to the iPhone. So um, when you charge your phone, like on a MagSafe, and you put it sideways, it will go into standby mode and you can choose a clock, you can choose like a photo. And it's kind of like a widget where you have different options and you can pick those, but Obviously, it's not going to be fully customizable. It's going to be similar to like a widget, so only certain apps or whatever can use it. But that is a nice touch. Also, if it's nighttime, like it's a low light, it will be a red, so it's not like bright and like hurt your eyes. Um, so if it's low light, it'll have a red tone to it. We also got a new update in voicemails. So now, if you call somebody and they can't answer, you can leave a voicemail and for the other person, it'll have a live transcription of what they're saying in real time. And if while they're leaving the uh, voicemail, you can have the option to still hang up or you can call them back or just let them leave their voicemail. But that is a cool feature to make voicemails a little bit better. But also with FaceTime now, there's a voicemail. There's a voicemail. Now, if someone doesn't answer your FaceTime, they can send a quick video of them of whatever they need to share. Send them this quick little video in their FaceTime app so it's separate from like the phone. So it doesn't get like all cluttery or whatever. But that is also kind of a nice little feature that Apple added. Before we talk about all the new AirDrop features that we got, I wanna talk about Siri real quick. So Siri kind of got a bigger update than it has in the past in a while. Um, so now instead of saying, hey Siri, you can now just say Siri and say whatever you want. And within a couple of seconds after you finish talking or whenever Siri's finished talking, you can do a follow-up question without having to say Siri again, which is kind of nice. You don't have to keep saying, hey Siri, you know. The last thing that I want to talk about is AirDrop. First, let's just talk about AirDrop itself. So now if you leave an AirDrop to somebody with like pictures or videos, if you guys leave, it'll still send them the videos like through the internet, but without Wi-Fi, you don't need Wi-Fi anymore to like share or like being super close to each other. So you can leave and they'll still send the videos in full quality, which is nice. One of the bigger things that we got with this update is name drop. So now when two people put their phones close together, it will, sh it'll switch their contacts. So now um, you don't have to like ask for their phone number or whatever. You can just put your phones together, it'll switch contacts and it makes it super easy. And you can also customize your own like banner now. So when someone calls you or you switch contacts, you have your own customizable banner that you can make for them or you can make one for yourself where you can share it to other people. So 
um, when someone just like, say you just swap contacts, it'll have your picture already, your banner already, whatever picture you choose. So they don't have to put like their own picture, like find the picture of you. It's just one that you already have. But if you want, you can go back and change it to whatever you want, but it's nice that you already have like one set up. So people don't have to like go scroll through their phone and find one. Okay, before I get to the last thing, I want to talk about a quick little update Apple did to um, Apple Music. And it's something I feel like they've needed for a while. S uh, Spotify already does it. Um, it's where you can do the transitions. So now with Apple, you can do the same thing with Spotify. You can start a transition at one second or up to 12 seconds. So when a song's finishing, however many seconds you pick, it'll start transitioning into the next one. Um, which is awesome because it's something that Apple's needed to do for a while because Spotify's done it for a while. So it's nice that Apple Music is doing it now. And another thing they actually did with Apple Music is now if someone's connected to CarPlay in the car, um, you can do SharePlay and you can have someone scan a QR code and then they can also cue songs and add their own songs or play a song without having without actually having to touch your phone. You can put as many people as you want on there and they can all cue their own songs. You don't have to like fight over someone's phone to like play a song. So now everyone can just scan a QR code, they get added to the share play and it makes listening to music so much easier. Kind of a little sneak peek update Apple did. Um, it's not big, but when you have your camera out and you're taking a video or a picture, there's now a leveling line. Um, you take a picture, kind of like how in the measuring app, it has like the leveler. And now it does that with iPhone. So it'll show you how off you are from the center, um, which is kind of cool to help you like make your photos more like straight and level. Let me know in the comments, if you're gonna download iOS 17, let me know some of your favorite features about it. Um, it's not one of their biggest updates, but still, a nice update to get you know once a year to get something new something big this year is kind of the name drop thanks for watching if you like this video leave a thumbs up subscribe and we'll see you next time peace